We have new information tonight about the military investigations known as Sand Trap and Sand Trap 2. The National broke this story last year. A member of the secretive JTF 2 had made war crimes allegations against two soldiers, one Canadian, one American. Tonight, CBC News has learned that JTF 2 didn't even alert the military police about the allegations until the military ombudsman got involved. And our senior investigative correspondent, Diana Swain, has uncovered an additional stunning claim. In the chaos of a war, where soldiers are forced to send dead comrades home in a box, retaliation is tempting. It's up to the chain of command to maintain discipline. But a Canadian soldier who served in the military's elite JTF-2 says that's not what happened when he was there. And he's made some explosive claims. New documents obtained by CBC News from the Office of the Military Ombudsman show the soldier told them he feels more and more of his peers are being encouraged to commit war crimes by the chain of command. His complaints focus on the actions of JTF-2, Canada's elite special forces unit assigned to the most secretive tasks in the war. As we reported late last year, he alleges that twice unarmed Afghans were shot and killed, once by a Canadian, once by Americans working with the Canadians. Both allegations, if true, constitute war crimes. Yet, in these documents, the soldier says it's not the guys who pulled the trigger he wants held accountable, but the chain of command. He claims the atmosphere they created encouraged soldiers to go too far, that they promoted those who did and brushed aside complaints like his. And so he says he turned to the military's watchdog for help. In 2008, the Ombudsman urged the military to investigate swiftly. And the military's National Investigation Service replied, this investigation is now their number one priority. Chief of Defense Staff General Walter Natinchik was alerted and told the Ombudsman he was confident the investigation was being conducted in a most thorough and professional manner. That was more than two years ago, meaning it's been about four and a half years since the soldier says he made his original complaint. And he seemed to fear that a lengthy investigation could mean similar acts may be ongoing while his allegations are being investigated. A criminal when the military talked to CBC News about the investigations late last year, it stressed it was looking into the allegations against the soldiers and their bosses. To make sure that our high standard of conduct has been met by all of our Canadian Forces personnel when their conduct has been called into, into question. As we've reported, the military decided not to lay any charges against the Canadian soldier accused. The investigation involving the American is still underway, and so is the Board of Inquiry, which is looking into the role of the chain of command. Now, we know a hundred witnesses have been interviewed, but it's all been in secret, so we don't know what's been said. The military says we may learn something in the next couple of months. In the meantime, Peter, while these allegations are very serious, we don't know if they're true. Diana Swain in Toronto. Thanks, Diana.